Crop Life International, uh, our role on behalf of our members is to communicate and educate about the value of technology in agricultural production. There are a range of technologies, so if we think first about seed technologies, you start all the way from you know, new uh, modern seeds, hybrid seed technology, uh, all the way through to biotechnology. So there's different types of seeds and, and um, farmers need different tools uh, depending on what their circumstances are. We know that uh, climate change is, is occurring. We know that we have to feed uh, more people in the future. And we have to be able to get more production uh, per acre. And biotechnology is one of the tools that can help us do that. In the case of uh, plant biotechnology and high quality seeds, we've seen since uh, biotech crops were first introduced in 1996, so we're into the 15th year of planting crops, that there have been uh, increased plantings year over year. And so for the last two years, we've had 10% increase uh, in adoption each year, which is unheard of in terms of agricultural uh, technology adoption. This has been the most rapidly adopted technology in the history of agriculture. We know that 90% uh, of the soybeans globally now are biotech varieties. Uh, corn um, in developed countries is at very high adoption rate. Cotton, 60% uh, uh, globally. So uh, in the crops where biotechnology is available, it's been a tremendous success and um, the reality is that farmers are uh, experiencing uh, tremendous benefits from that and that's why they're they're planting it year over year. Um, fostering an environment that is supportive of innovation means the innovation cycle continues. So the companies if they're getting that return on investment will continue to reinvest and uh, bring new innovations uh, to the marketplace.